Hey folks, it's me, Brian. Welcome to Malt Liquor Fridays. This is another thing I'm going to have in 2022. I don't know if there's enough malt liquors to get through the year, but I do have enough to get through the next couple of months. And today what I'm drinking is Still Reserve 211, brought to you by the Steel uh, Brewing Company, which is uh, owned by Miller and Miller is owned by Molson. So this is the malt liquor that made me stop drinking malt liquor. It is very high in alcohol content, 8.1%. It says high gravity. And I had it way back in the day, over 25 years ago, and it left me with such a headache. And I said, never again. Never again will I drink malt liquors. And for the most part, I've been um, consistent with that until recently because I figured, let me at least review these things for old time's sake. So still reserve 211. 211 is supposed to be the medieval um, symbol for steel. And uh, it only appears on steel reserve high gravity lager. We use nearly twice the ingredients of many normal lagers and brew for over twice as long as many quality beers. Uh, so apparently this is supposed to be some good stuff. It's extra malted barley and select hops for extra gravity. That's what it says here. That's what it says over here too. Still, res still reserved 211 folks. And just like old English, it says corn syrup is used as part of the brewing process only. Still Reserve never uses high fructose corn syrup. Well, isn't that great? This makes it even more healthier, right? The ingredients are water, barley, malt, corn syrup, which is dextrose and maltose, yeast and hop extract. This has actually won awards. According to the internet machine as being like a premium lager. Don't know how that happened. And uh, I do have a bone to pick with part of the label. Right here it says slow brewed for exceptional, exceptionally smooth flavor. Now, I didn't major in English, but shouldn't that be slowly brewed? Like the slow, it should be, the, the, the verb is brewed. Right, so the adjective, I mean, so the adverb is slowly. That's what I think. Well, who's actually reading the label like that and who's actually paying attention when it's still reserved to 11? You're just drinking this to get your drink on. So let's crack it open, folks. Got some premium malt liquor here, y'all. And, and this is the most ridiculous thing pouring a can of malt liquor into a nice looking glass like this. I'm only doing this so the viewers can see what it looks like. Otherwise, if I was just drinking this stuff, it would be straight out of the can or bottle. As you can see the color, the color is a like a yellowish, maybe goldish. Doesn't have a lot of bubbles. You know, it has some bubbles, but not a lot. Has a little bit of head. Um, a little bit of lacing smell like malt liquor y'all sweet corn that's all i smell sweet corn and headaches in the morning that's why i stopped drinking this stuff let's drink up prost my friends similar to old english this is as if someone took a beverage reminiscent of beer, not beer itself, then dumped a whole bunch of sugar in it. Well, in this case, corn syrup. No redeeming beer value here, folks. Just like Old English, just like probably every malt liquor that I'm gonna have on Fridays, this is uh, not a good beverage. No redeeming beer value or taste. No bittering um, effect either. It's straight sugar. Straight sugary maltiness. It's 
still reserved 211 according to the internet machine they're discontinuing it um, I don't know why this stuff this, this kind of stuff still sells with the young folks because it is cheap and it does get them drunk really quickly um, smells like sweet corn tastes like sweet corn and uh, no hint of hops stay safe stay sane and I will see you later folks